Deion Dawkins, the Bills' starting offensive tackle, but also cornhole expert. He's been on ESPN's national stage, and now he's bringing his talents to Buffalo. I've been chasing like cornhole. I'm a huge like cornhole fan. I fell in love with the sport, and then I realized that Buffalo loves in the sport. So I said, well, it's a win-win, so let's do it. The tournament featured two-person teams competing against one another in double elimination fashion, a chance for the Bills to go one-on-one -on -one and test their cornhole abilities against some of their biggest fans. I love the Bills, watch football all the time, I'm always supporting them. And then uh, when you know, everything happened just a while ago, it, it's a great way to give back to the community. Whether it's a sport that I'm playing too, so it's always great. Even though you can be competitive, you're doing it for something good. The day all full of fun games and drenched in rain, but most importantly, benefiting a good cause, Dion's Dreamers. The tournament was already in the, in the works, but um, the driver's seat changed to where the donations was going. So now it was going to Dion's Dreamers so I could help with the kids and the youth. Now it's Dion's Dreamers to help give all 100% of the proceeds to the families and uh, the, the main organizations that are helping with everything that's, that's going on. Dawkins says that he vows that he will do his part to help those impacted by the top's shooting. He says it's on the Bills organization and foundations to continue to shed light and continue to pour energy into the east side. That area is going to be historic forever. So we have to put our effort in there. We have to physically be there. We can't just tweet about it. We have to be about it. They need every bit plus some. And uh, this, this is just a small, small, small piece and uh, I'm going to continue to do more and more and more to just drive everything to the families first and then those organizations. You know, to see the community come together um, after such a tragic event happened last Saturday and only a week later and everyone's, you know, all smiles. It just tells you how the community, um, no matter what happens, everyone still sticks together and, uh, you know, it's one community, one Buffalo. Ashley Holder, Channel 2 Sports.